In this video, we're looking at finding the area of a parallelogram. First, let's quickly recap how to find the area of a rectangle from lesson G16a. Here's a rectangle. It's got a length of 8 centimetres and a width of 7 centimetres. From lesson G16a, you should know that you can find the area of this by multiplying those two together. So the area of this rectangle is simply going to be 8 times 7, which gives us an answer of 56. And the units we're going to be dealing with will be centimetres squared. The key thing I want you to notice is that these two sides, or edges, are at right angles to each other. They are perpendicular. Now, here is a parallelogram. At first glance, it looks very similar to the rectangle we just had. It's got a side that's 8 centimetres long this way and a side that's 7 centimetres long this way. So you might be tempted to think the area is 8 times 7, which is 56 centimetres squared, but actually that's not true. I'm going to show you why. The reason 8 times 7 is not going to work is that the 8 and the 7 are not at right angles to each other. Remember, the really important thing about the rectangle was that the two sides were perpendicular, so we could multiply the length and the width together to get the area. In this case, that's not true. But let's think about how we can do this. Actually, as it stands, we don't have enough information to work out the area. What we need is the height of this parallelogram, and the height needs to be perpendicular to the base. Now we're told the height is 6 centimetres, and the height is perpendicular to the base. That's enough information to work out the area of this parallelogram, because what we can do is rearrange this parallelogram into a rectangle. Hopefully you can see that we could cut out this triangle on the right hand side and position it over here so that we end up with a rectangle that is exactly the same area as the parallelogram. So all we've done is cut off the triangle off the side here and move it over here. So what we have here is an eight by six rectangle and it has the exact same area as the original parallelogram. We didn't cut and throw away any bits of the parallelogram, we just rearranged it. So we've still got the full area of the original parallelogram. 8 times 6 is 48. So the area of this rectangle, and therefore the original parallelogram, was 48 centimetres squared. The key thing then is to make sure you are multiplying a base by a perpendicular height. So the general formula for the area of a parallelogram is simply base times perpendicular height. Remember, perpendicular means at right angles. Let's take a look at the first example. We've got a parallelogram where this side is nine centimeters long and this side is eight centimeters long. The height of the parallelogram is six centimeters. To find the area of this parallelogram then, we are simply going to do the base times the perpendicular height. That is 9 times 6. And that gives us an answer of 54 centimetres squared. Notice we didn't use this number here at all. The 8 was irrelevant to the question. It was there to confuse us. I've also drawn in dotted lines here the size of the rectangle you would get if you were to cut off the triangle off the right hand side of this parallelogram and position it in here. So it should be really clear that the rectangle has the same area as this parallelogram, and that would be a nine by six rectangle. So the area really is 54 centimeters squared. In this example, we have a parallelogram where this side is five centimeters, this side is 10 centimeters, and we have a distance here of four centimeters. First of all, don't be tempted to do 10 times five. Those are not perpendicular to each other, so that's not how we go. What we actually need to do is multiply the 10 by the 4. This is the base and this is the perpendicular height. Don't be put off by the fact that this parallelogram has been rotated. We've got a base that is the length of one of these sides and this is the height of the parallelogram that is perpendicular to that base. So we're just going to do 10 times 4 and that gives us an answer of 40 centimetres squared. Finally, in the third example, we have this parallelogram. Now, the base 
hasn't been clearly labelled, but hopefully you can spot that this is the same as this distance here. The base is 17 centimetres. We have got a perpendicular height, that is 11 centimetres. We've got a right angle here. So the area is simply going to be the base, that's 17, times the perpendicular height. And that gives us an answer of 187 centimetres squared.